All right. Okay. Hello. I'm actually very excited about this exhibition. Um, I was feeling very, very unmotivated to do more videos, but then a little gift comes up and uh, here I am. This is starting tomorrow, actually. Um, and this guy is called Dragon Elves. And look at this. Can I just stop for a moment and pinch myself that the vision that I had for SL Art is coming to fruition, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very intrigued by this person. Very intrigued. Okay, so this is happening at Akaniwa. Uh, la, 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 la. Let me have a look. Um, Haiku's Gallery, okay, number three. So this is the promo for it. Uh, it's by Dragon. Dragon Annan Jelves is a visionary artist who has nurtured his passion for art since childhood. So he's actually working under the umbrella of outsider art, which I've actually been incredibly fascinated by for years and years and years. Ever since I saw, I don't know if it's, I don't know if you could consider Valley Myers art outsider art because it's in, it's completely different to this, obviously. But I've loved Valley Myers. She's an Australian artist. A lot of people wouldn't know about her because you only know American bullshit. Anyway, so... Um, she was self-taught. So outsider art goes by the premise of that it's naive art. It's coming from a person that isn't involved in an art community per se. Um, they are self-taught. Um, sometimes they are, well, there was a few exhibitions from mental hospitals where there was a lot of patients there that were creating phenomenal outsider art. And then it kind of ate its own tail because outsider art became a genre, obviously. And then they tried to um, make a lot of money out of all these people. Well, the people, well, the mental, mentally ill people, unfortunately, they tried to sell their art and all that kind of stuff and um, take advantage of them. Anyway, look at it. It's, I love it. Every single piece I find is intriguing. Obviously, this pit with pink, purple, teal is right up my alley. <sighs> I feel weird when I feel inspired by art in SL. It's a very weird feeling for me. I'm like, oh, I should be hating everything. And it's actually quite good because I was like, ugh, do I want to hate another thing on this channel? Do I want to do another negative fucking thing? And I'm like, no, I really kind of want to do a couple of videos that are inspired that I could show somebody outside of SL and go, hey, these people are actually exhibiting their work in a virtual world. So there's going to be an exhibition. Um, there's going to be an event tomorrow. I'm not going to be at it because it's like 5 a.m. when I'm in bed dreaming of, again, I'm going to tell you what I dream about, but um, it's going to be happening here at 12. There's going to be a whole lot of, uh, I mean, a DJ, I guess, and a whole lot of creative art, art inspired people, I suppose, that think they're more creative than they are. I don't know. Mm. But I want Dragon to come on this YouTube channel because I really want to uh, congratulate you. Seriously. Like, I'm not being a fuckwit right now. I'm actually being really honest. Okay, so how does he create this? And this is really good because um, he creates it. Let me see. Okay, with an eclectic blend of digital and traditional mediums along with classical natural painting dragon explores a plethora of styles and techniques however it is his outside art that truly ignites the imagination and sparks excitement i'm sorry about this article i did not write it it's ugh. um energizing bold and provocative bold and provocative dragons work often defies defies description existing in a realm where the peculiar meets the extraordinary well, this time you've actually talked somebody up that actually deserves that kind of <laughs> wording. <laughs> I actually do. Would I get up this early for the event? Yeah, because I kind of want to talk to him and, um, yeah, congratulate him again. You can hear it in my voice how pleased I am about this exhibition. This one in particular I really, really love. And he's asking 400 Linden for it. Is it all 400? Which, to my mind, yeah, let's buy it because I haven't seen anything like this in SL.
if I went to an exhibition in real life, I'd be blown away and I'd come away feeling like I'd actually really done something that day. I don't think it's actually, there's anything down here. Yeah. <clears throat> also, look at my outfit. It's by Legionnaire. Legionnaire. Legionnaire's disease. <laughs> I got it ages ago. The, the texturing is awful, I know. But I kind of fits, it kind of fits with this, um, what is it? What's the word? All these pieces are different too. Look at them. They're all completely different, but they still go by the same theme that he's trying to, he, she, okay, let me have a look who this person is. Um, Cause I'm just tickled by you. Okay. It's a dude, I think. 40 plus SLT plus nine. So where are you? You more near where I am? If you want to destroy any nation without war, make adultery or nudity common in the young generation. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. He's restored my faith. I love that shit. Just when I think I'm going to never come back into SL, I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. Let's have a look at his flicker. <clears throat> okay. His flicker's all right. It's got a lot of his art on it. Um, yeah. Thank you for existing, dude, because you're kind of giving me... How long has he been in SL for? 10 years. Okay. Ugh, oh, I really want to come to this event because I'm not banned here. Look at this. I can just come with impunity and like, whoa, here we go. I might actually buy one of these pieces just because of support. Legit. Ugh, I love it. I'm going to have a good day. I'm going to go down to the bush today. I'm going to ride my bike. I'm going to have a big think about this. I'm like, ah, oh, yes. And he's not and there's and he's not like big noting himself it's like this is the art it's here just view it like if you want and i love that he's he's got outsider art as the umbrella for this and i would really love to ask if he is trained in any kind of way um because i would really like to know and what his life is like. This is the thing about artists. Like when I discovered Valley Myers, okay, so Valley Myers is an Australian artist. She was born in 1930, I think. And her art is completely different to this. It's more like tattooing kind of art. She used to do her art by candlelight at night with a little tiny nib of Indian ink. And um, <clears throat> I'll talk about her more. Actually, I should do more Australian artists because we do have a very rich and vibrant community here well it's not just a community it's kind of international now but um and she had tattoos all over her face she was the first person to do that anyway she went to positano for 20 years and she lived with a whole plethora of dogs and cats and her italian lover and she just kept on um, creating art but they weren't big pieces like this and again it's completely different but the whole outsider art thing i'm really fascinated by the fact that you don't have to be trained to create artworks and and art and things like that there's no rules this is the thing about i'm this is why i'm always getting in trouble in sl is because i fucking hate these arbitrary rules that you have to follow all the time and this artist has not followed them he's like i have a feeling i have this thing inside of me that i have to get out and i'm not gonna like tell everyone about it and say oh, oh my god i'm an artist this guy is really modest and this fits in with my kind of Aussie sight because Aussies, we're like very modest people sometimes. We don't like big note ourselves and shit like that, which makes me think that he's not Aussie. I mean, I'm Aussie. He's not American, which, thank you. And we just, yeah. So, yeah, come down to, um, I keep forgetting everything. <laughs> I've got to stop doing these when I just wake up. <laughs> Come down to Haiku Gallery. I will promote the shit out of this this exhibition because this it's not just pictures on the wall to me when I see art like this. It's like a whole historical com context. It's like how he did it, what his life is like. How did he come up with these colours, like the green and the pink? Oh, my God. It's like he knew Minka Purple was coming today, so he's just going to create all of this art from it. No, see, see, this is it. This isn't my problem. I have uh, so many problems. But I'm really happy about this. So, yeah, again, thank you for existing. Come down here and support really great art that is just colourful and big and bold and intricate and historical and it includes a lot of different aspects of living life, really. And he probably wouldn't explain, I don't know, 
I kind of want to meet this person now because he's kind of refueled my um, what I wanted to see in SL. And, and look at all the look at it all. There's a massive amount of work here. I wonder how big these are in real life. I wonder if it's done with oils, if it's acrylic, if it's mixed media, if it's like what what is it? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to have some ventilin after this. I'm like what? This is beautiful too. All right, I'm gonna pick a couple and I'm gonna lay down some lindens for this one. This is the best. All right, he wins. He wins today. He wins the Minka Purple Channel. I, I guess he's he's really chuffed about that. <laughs> Oh, that big purple, she's given me her validation. Bitch, yeah, like don't. I mean, I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah, the best, best so far. I don't know if we can top this, you guys. This is beautiful work, fucking great work. Love it. Thank you. All right, come down, have a, have a squeeze, and uh, say hello, bitches.